we call this um, in our goal setting methodology or how we teach it, we call this non judgmental evaluation. We have to evaluate ourselves, yeah. but we want to do it in a non judgmental way. But I want to start by pointing out that there is a situation we many of us have found ourselves in where we're being judged and evaluated at the same time. And it's it's often when someone has set a goal for us. Right. Um, where somebody else says, I need you to get this done. I don't particularly care if you want to or not, um, but it's your job to go get it done and then I'll pay you. And then we just show up for the paycheck and there's a transaction involved there of I'll do what you need done so that I can get what I want so that I can take that money and go do what I want in the world. And that, that's what a lot of people just call work. Um, but it's work is far different than that. It's far deeper than that, especially in today's world. Yeah. But that's the world of external motivators. And, uh, that's the world most of us lived most of our life in. That's most of our experience with goals is in that framework. When setting goals or doing this goal work from intrinsic motivation, we still have to hold on to evaluation. We still need feedback, but we don't want to do it in the, that like you say, it's we're, we're dealing with something that's personal. And so we've got to be careful that we aren't judging ourselves in the process. So what do we mean by that? Um, I think one of the things that we have to, we talked about the hook and uh, in a previous episode and the idea that you have to measure goals. They, we want to be concrete and specific. We want to be measurable and verifiable. Um, and so like if, you're, if your goal is to lose weight, the measuring six, the scale, right? And we know that it's somewhat self-evident. And so, so we're like, okay, great. I, say yeah. you want to lose 30 pounds over three months or six months or something like that. And so what we hope we can do is go step on that scale in six months, one time, and it's below 30 yeah. pounds, and we're good, right? Yeah, not, not, not so much. It doesn't work. <laughs> Whatever. Some programs want you to weigh yourself once a day. Sometimes yeah. it's once a week. Mm -hmm. But it's constantly because we need that feedback to get so that we can learn, so that we can do micro adjustments to see if what we're doing is heading us in the right direction. But a lot of times it's, did I, am I doing good? Then I'm good. Am I doing bad? Then I'm bad. And I right. don't want that kind of feedback. It's kind of too intense. So what we do is we set up a system where we're like, we're still going to evaluate, but we're asking the questions differently. So you set a goal, you get a measuring stick, you can say as measured by, and then maybe it's every two weeks, maybe it's once a month, you return to your goal and you evaluate it. How am I doing? How are we doing? If it's a team goal and uh, you give yourself, we use a traffic light system. Mm -hmm. um, we'll say, you just give yourself a, a green light, a yellow light or a red light. And even then, people are, are like, right, because green is good and red is bad. Well, of course. Right. That's how I'm actually part of a... Of I a, mean, you get a ticket if you run a red light. Red light. Right? Yeah. You don't get a ticket if you run a green that's light. Right. <laughs> but I think that's a mistake. I think that's a mistaken understanding of what a traffic like system is, although it's often used that way. I'm part of a group that uses it precisely that way. Red is bad. You want to get out of the red. But if you think about the metaphor of a traffic light, there's nothing bad about a red light. It's part of an entire system that makes the whole thing work. So if you're sitting in a red light, that's not bad. Right. You're currently making way for other things. And so in this system, we say, okay, you give yourself red light, yellow light, or green light, um, but you don't go to good or bad yet. Um, and then we have definition for this. Green light means I'm moving forward without any resistance. There's nothing in the way. It's, I'm just full steam ahead. Yellow light is I'm moving forward, but there is some resistance. Like I'm, I'm getting some headwinds. There's some pushback. Not, sure. It's not all going great, but we are making progress. Red light is, yeah, I'm not moving forward at all. Nothing but resistance, <laughs> right? I'm stuck. Um, yeah. So you answer that question according to that definition. Then the next question is, what are we learning? So you do the evaluation, red, green light, yellow light, red light, and then you immediately follow up with, and what are we learning? And that changes the whole scenario. Because if you've got a red light and you're learning, that's helpful. If you've got a green light and you're learning, that's helpful. So we're still all good. And the other thing about this is when doing goal work, green and getting all greens across all your goals isn't necessarily helpful. It could be that you just, like the question, what are we learning? Like say, if, say, say I have three goals and every time I show up to our goal meeting and I'm like, I am crushing this. I am awesome. Right. I'm all green lights. Oh, Mitch, I'm sorry. You've got yellows and reds, right? <laughs> but one of the things that we would want to ask is, are your goals too realistic? We like to have aggressive but realistic goals. Yeah. Are you sandbagging? Did right. you set conservative goals because you're scared of the stretch? Mm -hmm. Could you be doing so much more? Um, so green lights can be wasting time, wasting energy, wasting resources, could be not helpful. 
And red lights, on the other hand, could be completely good as well or helpful as well.